briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a legal showdown among Hollywood heavyweights, Miramax Films Corp took Columbia Pictures Entertainment Inc. and Mandalay Entertainment Inc. to the mat in a 1998 courtroom drama. At the heart of the litigation, accusations of unfair competition and trademark infringement. Miramax alleged that their competitors at Columbia Pictures and Mandalay Entertainment misleadingly marketed the film I Know What You Did Last Summer by emblazoning the phrase from the creator of Scream across their promotional materials. Miramax pointed out that the two films shared only a screenwriter, Kevin Williamson. Hence, this promotional strategy was deceptive and misleading to consumers. The case presented in the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York shook the industry. Miramax's case was bolstered by a consumer survey presented in court, which provided evidence of significant consumer confusion caused by the defendant's advertising strategy. This confusion, argued Miramax, led to irreparable harm to their reputation and damage to their trademark rights. In a decisive ruling, the court sided with Miramax. The court issued a preliminary injunction and later a temporary restraining order, instructing the defendants to halt the use of the scream catchphrases in their promotional materials for I Know What You Did Last Summer. The court found that the defendants' use of scream catchphrases amounted to false advertising and violated trademark law, thereby misleading consumers and causing significant harm to Miramax's reputation. Further solidifying the verdict, the court ordered an immediate discontinuation of all advertising and promotional materials carrying the contentious catchphrases for I Know What You Did Last Summer across pre-specified territories. This ruling served as a powerful reminder of the importance of protecting trademarks against potential misuse and highlighted the dangers of deceptive marketing practices within the entertainment industry. The decision reinforced Miramax's interest in safeguarding its reputation and protecting its trademarks from deceptive associations with products over which they have no control, ultimately upending the advertising strategies for a major box office release. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.